Medical Research Institute QIMR Berghofer has informed patients that their names, contact details and potentially their survey results were accessed by criminals during the hack. Well, we're joined now by the ABC's national technology reporter, Danny Tran. G'day, Danny. You've been following this story very closely and you're learning a little bit more about what actually happened. Absolutely. So some viewers at home may have heard about QSkin, Australia's biggest skin cancer study, about 50 thousand people over more than a decade, run by QIMR Berghofer, uh, which is a medical research institute based in Brisbane. And in 2021, they sent out follow-up surveys to about 9,000 people, about 1,000 people were responded. And what we know now is that the names, addresses and Medicare numbers of those people may have been compromised as part of this data breach because the company that they hired to scan and survey, process those survey results, was hit by a data breach in November last year. Now, they're we do know that there were genuine fears that those survey results may have been compromised because they contacted participants mm. saying so. And these are really, really intimate details. Uh, not only did they ask about sun exposure, they also asked about whether they'd been through a divorce, whether uh, female participants were still menstruating, whether they'd recently lost someone uh, in that way, whether they were feeling anxious or depressed. Uh, now, they contacted these survey participants and said, look, your, these details may have been breached, so your survey results as well. They say that those survey results are now haven't been breached, but it raises really serious questions because they haven't publicly disclosed this while they're trying to recruit people for more studies. Mm. So they've told these participants, they haven't told the general public, and it raises greater questions. Well, should they? Well, they should. Uh, you know, many, many, many people would. And just leaving aside for a moment uh, the, the obvious question, why are they asking about people's marital status for a skin cancer study? Uh, what, what redress have these people got, if any, uh, the people who've had their personal details compromised? Well, we've spoken to a few and they're not only furious, but the fact that they've been contacted again to participate in these studies. Uh, and they say that they haven't been contacted by QIMR for some time and the most recent time that they were contacted was to participate in these studies and QIMR has said that it contacted them with the recommendation of uh, officials in Queensland but at the same time it I, I think that if you were to sign up to Optus or Medibank at the moment, you're, well, you're doing so with eyes open. You're yep. well aware about what's happening, mm. what they've done with, in regards to data breaches. But when you're participating in these studies and they're not telling anyone yeah. about these details, I think it really raises serious questions about, well, should these laws be changed and are they, are they fit for purpose? Any idea about the actual hackers? Has that just sort of investigation gone further? No, we still don't have a lot of detail about that. So Data Time and the company that owns it, PNORS, they were effectively locked out of their system in November last year. We covered those, uh, that hack and it infected Victorian government departments, but we don't have any idea where that information or who's behind that hack is. We do know that those, uh, they say, or they believe that that information will not be put out into the public realm, but that is, it's really hard to sort of quantify because uh, we don't know who has that data and what they'll do with it. Danny, thanks for coming in to explain. Thank you.